Hello guys, you are watching Mentoring Engineering Design and this video is the part of the SOLIDWORKS training and we were doing this basic course for beginners. I already made a video on how to use the sketcher in SOLIDWORKS. So today I'll be doing this second part which is how to use the features and how to create parts from the sketches. Um, so in this module we have these these commands uh, extruded boss revolved and all of these other commands but today i'll be just doing this extrude boss and extrude cut so let's start so let's make any any silly shape just like the sketch and go into the front plane i'll make a sketch here which we can then use to make our solid body now we have some close contours for the extrude command just exit the sketch and this is our extrude command here you can just select this extrude boss or base and you can select the sketch from the tree here so now it will ask the for the contours here uh, you can select any contours you want to extrude and there are multiple options here i will try to cover all of these so let's start with the sketch plane and blind so blind is the option when you you can you want to select any any length for the extrude you can just select the contour here and provide the length let's say 15 and you can also select the direction so this direction too is for extruding on the other side you can just give any dimension here as well so this was the blind command this is, is this is just for giving the length exit the sketch now as we have multiple contours here so i can again select the same sketch and click on the extrude so for through all through all option is just select any contour like this so through all is the option when you have certain solid as a as a reference point and you want to extrude with the same length you can select the through all option and it and it can it will it will extrude it to to that length up to vertex okay for up to vertex is a uh, needs a point for the extrude let's say I, if i extrude this like like this now let's make another sketch here so you can use these constraints for doing the sketch now again select the extruded boss and use this sketch now for up to vertex as i was telling you that you have, you'll have to select a point so let's say if i select this point and this will extrude it to that point similarly if you want to select if you have a reference surface you can just select on the up to surface and you can provide any reference surface and it will extrude it till till to that surface and this is the offset from surface option if you want to select this so you will have to provide a face first and then you will have to then you will have to provide certain distance now as you can see now this this extrude is from 10 mm distance from this surface this face and if if i reverse this offset now we have now we have this extrude 10 mm distance in other direction from this face so this is how you can use the offset surface so this was the offset from surface now if you want to if you want to use the up to body up to body option you will you will have to make another body which you can then use as a reference so let's go to app mid plane so mid plane is uh, as the name suggests it will make an extrusion which is equally distant from this central plane let's say if i make it 100 we'll have we'll have two different lengths and the total length will be 100 as you can see here so this face will be 
width to 50 mm distance from this and again the other phase will also be at 50 mm distance from this phase now if you want to use the up to body you will have to make another sketch okay for up to body option let's say if i make a sketch on the front plane like this and you can again select the extruded command and select up to body now you can select this body and another thing here is that this sketch here should be should be uh, should have a length smaller to to this body so we cannot extrude this now but if i make this sketch smaller like this now if i go into extruded command and select this sketch select up to body and select this now we, we now we can extrude this up to that body so this is this is how you can use the up to body option now let's delete this mess here now we'll use uh, try to use these options here and uh, we were currently working with the sketch plane now if i select this surface or face or plane option here <clears throat> i will have to i'll have to provide a face or surface let's say if i select this surface let's say if i reverse this now our sketch is here but our our extrusion is again 110 millimeter distance from this plane so so you can use this uh, this feature when you when you when you have to um, make an extrusion which is not lying on that plane on which the sketch is lying so 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 you don't have to make any new new planes and you can make any any extrusion here you can also use mid plane and all of these features on the on the same sketch plane so so this this feature is very useful when you uh, when you want to make an extrusion which is not lying on the sketch plane now let's see vertex option so vertex option is again similar to the surface or face or plane option but you can in this you can select a vertex and rest of the things are same this vertex can also be lying here so wherever that vertex is lying our extrude command will start acting on that point let's say if i select the offset option again this option is very similar to this surface or face plane option but this option is useful when you don't have any reference surfaces like let's say if, if i didn't have this face here i can just provide a length and with whatever is the length it will it will make an extrusion on that on that distance so again this option is very useful when when the extrusion or our solid body is not lying on the same plane on which our sketch was lying now we will see how to use the thin feature from the extruded boss so let's delete all of the other stuff here so now for the thin feature you can just start a start a new sketch and make any shape and go into the extruded boss select the sketch and now select the thin feature now in the thin feature you will have three different options first one is the one direction one direction is used when you will have you want to make a thick wall which which uh, which is four millimeter thick and you can you can make this wall either in the inside of the sketch or the outside of the sketch and the other option is the mid plane so for the mid plane you will have you'll have a thick wall let's say four millimeter thick and this thick wall will will have um, equal thickness in the in the board direction from the sketch let's say it will have a two millimeter and two millimeter distance in the board direction from the sketch now for the two direction you can pro if you want to make a thick wall and that thick wall will uh, have different values 
in the board directions from the sketch let's say it is 6 millimeter in the outward direction and let's say 1 millimeter in the inwards direction so this is how you can do the thin feature now let's say you want to make a thin um, thin cross section but you want to cover the ends you can you, you can just select the cap ends and you can also change the value of that cap here and just like the sketch now now if you now we have this circular bar here but if i take the cross section here you will see that we have a hollow section from the inside so this was all about how to use the extruded boss command and for the extruded cut command let's say if i select the front plane and make a sketch exit the sketch you can just select the sketch and select the extruded cut command now for the extruded cut command all of these features are same you can change you can play with these commands in the similar manner as we did in the extruded boss command but the only difference is that instead of making a solid body it will make a it will make a cut or it will remove the material from that solid body so for using the extruded cut command you will first have to make a solid body and then you can start removing the material from that body and and all of the all of the rest features are, are in the same are in the same way so you can play around with these features and and that's all from this today's video i hope you have learned something and guys please keep liking and sharing my videos also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos so that's it guys okay take care